Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to install Faroff's ENB, the CGI. This is an update to my previous video on how to do it. Um, it was just a little too long, I didn't like it, and there are new updates from NVIDIA and stuff, so I just wanted to address some other things. So let me just show you a couple screenshots comparing. Here we got a couple before I had his uh, mod, or his ENB, installed. I was using Real Vision in both these. As you can see, Real Vision is very good. However, his I like better. It's a personal preference, but uh, if you like what uh, you're seeing on in the video, then uh, definitely consider this. And uh, here is one indoors. You have to consider that the lighting is very dark. It's only lit by a couple candles, but there's very, very nice shadows indoors. And as for outdoors, you get a very nice reproduction of darker shadows. Alright, so then we'll just uh, rush on then. First things first, we're gonna get all the stuff off the interwebs. You're gonna wanna just grab his mod first, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Start with that. In my previous video, I had the steps and stuff in order to install the mod. Um, the only steps are that like, you need the Nexus Mod Manager because it's just very helpful for people. So when you're on his page, go to your files and then download the, the newest one. It'll be the most updated, obviously. Once you get that, you can either get Climate to Tamriel or Pure Weather, your choice. I have Pure Weather. And you can get Enhanced Lights and Effects. I'll have all three links in the description. You can just download whichever you want. All right, so Apparently, you get this error when you, you install the newest NVIDIA drivers and the newest GeForce Experience. Now, you can fix this by doing a few things. You can simply downgrade to the other drivers. I'll have a link for those in the description. Or you can just, when this you see this error pop up, just hit OK about eight times, and it'll start your game normally. But uh, that's that. Um, I recommend staying on GeForce Experience 2.1.1.1 and using the, the drivers I have because they're the better drivers that Far himself uses. And uh, you're going to want an ENB series. The newest one's dot .264. Just go to the bottom, hit the arrow button, and it'll download. NVIDIA drivers. Here's all the sport cards, so you can see if you don't, if your card's not here, then you can't do this. AMD people, I'm sorry, I do not think you can get as good results, but I think it, they can get close. I'm not doing really an AMD one. This is more of an NVIDIA tutorial. So, pushing on, we can get, you're going to want to download NVIDIA Inspector. Links in the description. Go to the bottom. Use whatever mirror you want. One's probably pretty good. And once you have all that stuff, first things first, gonna want to go to your downloads folder. Mine is not there. And open up the ENB series. Go to the wrapper version. All you want is two things ENB host and D3D9.dll. Shift so you can select both of them. And then you're going to want to open up your Skyrim directory folder. The main root folder for Skyrim. Mine is here. Yours will probably be on your C drive. Mine is not. And just drag them on over. And make sure you're not selecting over a folder. It's important. And then just drop them in the main folder. After you've done that. Next thing, you want to grab far off CNB, take everything, do a shift all, or control all, excuse me, and just drag over everything, just slap it on in there. And then we need to do a little bit of perf editing. First one you're going to want to open is the Skyrim perfs any. It is in your documents folder under my games and then Skyrim. All right, first one you're going to want to change in your Skyrim perfs is go all the way up to the top under display. Make sure I blur deferred shadow mask is zero 
That's very important. Don't worry about anything else. Come down to you see gamma. Change that to 1.0400. And make sure all the multi samples and this guy is set to zero. Transparency multi sampling, that's not it's not a problem. Um deferred shadows, make sure that's one. Shadows on shadows on grass one. Shadows on trees, wherever that is, you make sure that is on as well. Uh, and float point render target has to equal one. That's important for lights. The lighting of the game. Ah, there it is. Trees receive shadows right there. Make sure that's one. Land shadows, make sure that's one. And everything else you can edit inside the game. Then you're going to want to go back to your Skyrim directory folder. Find the ENB effect named ENB prepass. ENB effect prepass.fx. Open it with Notepad. And then come down to where you see define depth of field quality. Change that to a higher number usually. It's good. It's good for screenshots or uh, anything else. If you don't like a strong depth of field, keep it on one. Uh, I, I use four. You'll see what four results. Uh, that's the only thing in there. Make sure obviously you control save or file save all this all these changes you make and uh, in the ENB series you don't need to change anything in here we can change all this stuff in game so once we've done all that just go to our next step which would be installing the Nvidia drivers when you run the installer that it gives you it'll ask for an extraction path I usually just leave it on default. It'll default extract it to your C drive. It'll make a new folder called NVIDIA. Just double click it, click display driver, and you'll see it's called 320.49. Double click, double click again, double click again, and then very bottom, setup.exe. Click this. Hit yes, if you're on Windows 7. Windows 8, I think that's a thing too. It'll check for your compatibility, which it's basically checking if your graphics card is one of the the ones it likes and then hit agree and continue and then express and then if you hit next it might ask you to install the GeForce experience if you don't have it I recommend clicking on the link in the description so you can just download the slightly older but better version as of now because Nvidia doesn't like the SKSE uh, script so it just kinda gives you those errors but you can just hit next and then it'll ask you possibly if you want to install the GeForce Experience hit new and then it'll start installing your driver once you have your driver installed some things might be a little quirky you might want to restart your computer you don't have to next thing you want to do is go to Nvidia Inspector extract it to your favorite folder your very most favorite folder you visit every day because you are going to love Nvidia Inspector open it up under driver version it's about the middle you should see the driver you just installed there next to it is a little screwdriver and wrench click that button another window should open up under profile scroll down until you find E it'll be ELD for Elder Scrolls Skyrim somewhere where are you there you are right here click this guy and then you just gotta copy all of these settings under any occlusion compatibility make sure it's set to oblivion SLI leave that that'll be fine anti-aliasing that'll be fine leave it make sure the mode and the anti-aliasing settings are just kinda application controller off uh, transparency super sampling leave it off or multi sampling is fine NVIDIA predefined FX AA usage just change that to disallowed if it's not and then change your filtering to user to find or off and then change your filtering settings to time 16 make sure the quality is set to high quality and then this is probably the most important one make sure you come down here to ambient occlusion settings set it to high quality and then enabled and then up here little apply changes button click this guy and you should be all set 
all your settings will be saved. Just close down out of that. Close out all this other crap. And uh, the last step, I guess, would be to make sure you activate your lighting mods and your weather mod. Once you do that, make sure they're kind of towards the top in load order. Um, it's just a good habit to have. Most important mods at the top. And you should be good to launch Skyrim. Um, make sure you have SKSC, obviously, you need this. And let's just go on in. Alright, in the game, just continue your latest save if you want. I will not do that for all myself. Now, if at any point during this you don't see anything in the top left hand corner of the screen, when you first start up Skyrim, the NB is not installed correctly, revert back to my later steps in order to do that again. Okay. So, first of all, I like to hit the tilde key so that when I'm messing around with the, the NB series settings, I don't move around the camera and click stuff. Alright, so first things first, let's go to the top black window. And I always like to make sure my anti aliasing is turned all the way on. You do not need temporal AA on for this to work. The only reason mine was turning on and off is because I had transparency AA turned on. And you need it for this. They both have to be turned on if you want the uh, ambient occlusion. So there's that. Make sure the ambient occlusion in the game is off because NVIDIA is taking care of that for you. I leave my lens off just because I don't want it's kind of overpowering. Um, other stuff, I just kind of maxed out everything. I usually leave uh, volumetric rays and procedural sun off because they kind of make this guy really white and it just kind of makes the game just look really sad. I do not like sad Skyrim, I like happy Skyrim. So you can just max out your game change whatever just make sure everything's like maxed out if you can handle it your graphics card if you have the new graphics cards i envy you for it but back to anti-aliasing you can uh, even turn off all the anti-aliasing if you want you get a little bit more fps but you know fps isn't really an issue for me um i'm recording with fraps at 1440p so 21 frames per second is very good. I'm not outside or anything. It's not crazy hard to render this um, room. But, you know, kind of take it with a grain of salt. Um, under fixes, I kind of just make sure all the fixes are checked. It's always a good habit to do. And then go up to save configuration, and then load configuration, then apply changes when you're done. And you should be all set. That should be everything. And then you can just take a look at Skyrim. My FOV is like at 90 or something. But let's see. What's up, Lydia? Alright. I'll also throw a link in the description if you would like for all the texture mods. I have. They're mostly from I one person. I believe his name is Zerwas, if I'm saying that right. If I'm not, sorry. Let's go outside. Take it in outside. Well, I came over to Solitude. I like Solitude a lot. Looks pretty nice, so. That weird glow around my character is due to temporal AA. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. I just use it for screenshots to give it smoother edges. Just wanted to point that out. Because in my previous video, I, I didn't say that at all. But that is it, guys, for this ENB preset. If you enjoyed this video, please favorite, rate, comment, and subscribe. It helps a bunch. If you found this video helpful, just tell your friend. Alright. Well, this has been a Trophy Hunter tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next one. The next one coming up is going to be one on how to very simply and easily make tattoos or do any other sort of crazy texture editing on your character's body or head or feet or hands, wherever. Uh, I will see you in that one.